Hey, what's up, man? How you guys doing, man? Like today, man, we're gonna do some uh, some smelting and stuff instead of these furnaces, okay? It's gonna be a good time, man. Uh, hey guys, how's it going? I don't know why I'm doing that voice, just because. So I've let everything pretty much run uh, as much as possible off camera, obviously, so that this would be all. Nice and crushed and beautifulized, and uh, I went ahead and I've got this tank and this XP drain from Open Blocks so that I can uh, store my XP. I was getting pretty high in levels, and I don't want to waste them in case I die. <laughs> I, uh, I made the furnaces just so that I could smelt some stuff uh, to to do a few things. I got a few things smelted. Um, I want to set up the uh, the orberry bushes at some point, but for now, they're okay. What in the hell? Spider, chill out. You make too much noise. Shut it. Ugh. So anyways, uh, today I want to try and get a few more of the... Um, hold on a sec little particles of crap get stuck on the the uh, mouse pad and I have to brush it away you know like just dust and stuff but it bugs me I can feel it <laughs> anyways all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look into powered furnaces of some kind <coughs> which I know there's a couple, like I can use the industrial craft, which I don't really want to. And then there's... Hmm. See, there's the redstone furnace. Which isn't bad. Uh, the thermal expansion stuff's not bad. And I'll probably eventually set them up. Um, but I'm, I've been using Ender IO, and I've been using, uh, like, Direwolf's playthrough to kind of, like figure out how I want to kind of build things and so we're going to try and go with that because I've never done it before and new stuff is fun let's see <coughs> excuse me zombie generator I gotta read that consumes nutrient distillation to generate power sure it does sag mail alloy smelter. I believe that's it. I don't think there's like an actual like furnace. I think it's just the, the alloy smelter. Alloys can be used as powered furnace, upgrade with capacitors, increase speed and energy storage. Okay, so it takes some iron, three furnaces, cauldron, and then the same crap from that. That's not bad. Okay. Gonna need the nuggets. Grab my bars. Where'd the rest of my copper go? I turned some of it into a fluid duct because I was trying to set it up with this so that I could just have it like in a corner and maybe have the thing outside or whatever, but it just it wasn't working properly. The uh, the drain wouldn't connect to the fluid duct, so oh well. Alright, so I need to smelt maybe that. I need to smelt. No! Get in the right spot. I need to smelt my copper. <clears throat> well, let's go in real quick. We'll check out how my ender lilies are doing. Get, get out of my bar. My, uh, my berry bushes are doing okay. I think that uh, these bushes are actually in the loaded chunks from standing over there, but these don't seem to be because they're not growing nearly as fast. But it doesn't even matter because I've got the uh, watermelon. And I don't know if like mobs jumped here and destroyed these two or what, or if like just the melons popped over and, and did that. I tried to make it so that they would only spawn in one direction. So it'd be, you know, you just break it in a straight row, but it doesn't want to work like that. I don't know. Ender lilies! Not, not there yet. Just not quite there yet. Ow. Stop it. Damn it, no! 
No! Damn it. Uh, I should probably move those closer to the uh, to the base over here. Like maybe put them underneath the, the thing. When they grow a pearl, I'll put them over there. Anyways, let's see. All right, got some copper. So let's see the smelter. Gotta get one of these dealy bobbers. Oh, I need redstone. Uh, I've got to go mining for more redstone. I can't believe I couldn't find like any really. Need one of them. Then I need some of these things. Get out of the way. Okay. I need one of dams. Mm, I need one of dams. <laughs> I'd go through the process of like finding all these things, but I mean, if you really want to know, you can just look at my other videos because a lot of this is the same basic kind of idea. What did I just have? Oh, damn it, it went in the backpack. Iron. Apparently I was smelting some iron. Okay, let's see. Smelter. Now I've got my three furnaces because I just took those three down. Alloy smelter. Now, will this, will that power, will that go through? Let that finish up. Take that from there. Get out of here. Stop filling up in my inventory. Okay. That's the, what what's the processing? What's it doing? It should there's nothing there. Apparently it took like the last one and then processed it. Okay. So does that mean this is now gaining power? No, because it'll have to go through there first. Gosh darn it. Alright. So let's just take this. Give me that. Give me that. Boop. Eventually I'll make power and we can run this all <clears throat> much better. Actually, you know what? I have the leadstone. Let's see, how much does it take for energy conduits? Conduit. Uh. What the hell? What are they called now? Thomic thermodynamics, there we go. Fluiducts. Flux ducts. That's weird. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so we need to look for flux duct. Leadstone flux duct. Take some glass, some lead, and some redstone. Yeah, it's going to be more expensive to do. I actually have that stuff though. We could probably up, upgrade it to the uh, hardened right off the bat. Okay, I need two lead. You know, I swear I had lead at one point. Get out of here. Give me that. It's the wrong tool. Boop. Okay. I'll run power down and then we'll put this on either side. Let's see. Sag mail. Blap. Get out of here, torch. Smelter. Okay. Uh, I need some lead. Lead. Two. Crap! I don't have a furnace now. Take me! Okay. Just put that there. I need a furnace. So I can smelt the things. 
Lead. Lead and iron. That's the wrong thing. There we go. Got lots of materials. Not actually much copper. I mean, I guess a little bit of copper. A lot of tin. Hardly any uh, silver. And it's weird because each thing tore it down into like different versions. The sag mill tears it down into different versions of the dust. Which is just annoying. Alright, got some lead. <coughs> lead on either side. That, and I need a piece of glass. Boop. Give me some invar. Uh, that's the wrong thing. Glass. Okay, and then I had two to one. How was it? Okay, three to one. Whoop, and then some redstone. Redstone, there we go. Okay, so now we got some better power there. Get out of the way. Thank you. There we go. Now we're both getting power. And we actually need to throw some more coal in these things. That should do. Make a couple blocks. The blocks last forever in these things, so. Bloop. Bloop. Okay. See, look at that. Generates 800,000 RF. That's great. That's a lot of. That's a lot of RFs. That's twice as much as my leadstone energy cell will even hold. <clears throat> but that'll keep the power going so that I can uh, smelt and. or, uh. Break down, double, turn to dust, whatever, and then uh, also smelt. Now what this does is <clears throat> it actually lets you set it. Okay, cool. You can actually set it to connect to a chest, and then you can have it do um, like furnace only, so that it's not trying to like smelt things together. But then if you want, you can do all smelting and that kind of thing. Right now I'm just going to have it on furnace only because I don't necessarily want it to uh, you know, mess everything up. So let's take this and we're going to turn it into a chest sort of. I don't, what the hell is that? Oh. Wait, what is that? Solid oak wood door. Weird. Plop that there, and then we're going to configure that side to be push and pull. So I can put my dust and stuff in there, and it should go ahead and just smelt everything. Let's just take all this. Okay. And then I'll start with the iron, because the iron needs to go first. And it'll fill all three and then turn it into three. Which is why this is super efficient. But I can also take it and use the actual uh, ingots themselves to turn into the um, the alloys that I need, like invar and electrum, that kind of thing. Let's put the rest of this crap in here. That uh, should keep pulling out the, uh, yeah, it'll keep pulling out the iron because the iron I've done first. And that should smelt it up in basically no time at all. Uh, I'd actually like to break down the that and turn it into a different dust if possible. Yes. I want all my bars to be the same um, s style or mod or whatever. It was just easier to handle. Okay, and then I can move this chest. Give me that. OK. 
Okay, that's going. And that's pulling and receiving for now. <clears throat> In case I needed to. And it's set on furnace mode only. So I can take this and put this chest here and then connect both of these and it'll pull from this one and then put in that one. Um, actually, let's see, where do I want... If I turn that into a little one, can I put it right there? No. No, why could you? It's stupid. Uh, put it right there. Screw it. I can stand here. Alright, so that does that. Let's go ahead and convert. That'll be to push. So it'll push in there. This will pull from there. There we go. So that will go into that, we'll go into that, we'll go into that. And then if I need to smelt uh, an alloy of some kind, I'll just put it in myself. That way it's not confusing. As if I didn't make this confusing enough. There's some ferrous. I think that's it for using that machine. Okay. So let's get rid of this crap I don't actually need. My melon back. Gold dust. Crap. Uh, pull out steel. <coughs> um, pull out a stack of iron. I want to make sure there's a space just in case it needs to go back and forth or whatever. And then I will put this in there for now. Uh, eventually I'll turn that in. Actually, let's just do that now. There should be that mod that increases the chests. So iron chest. Yeah, there we go. Uh, iron to gold. Wood to iron. Block wood and then iron around it. Easy. Block of wood, some iron. That's not my crafting table. That there, excellent. Boop. There we go. Now we got plenty of space. Get my steel back. Good idea. Beautiful. And then these chests will be just for random whatevers. Go ahead and put all of these into here as well so that they can eventually get smelted. It's still going. It's cooking a lot of iron. Okay. <clears throat> so that's basically it for the you know beginning setup of of ore doubling, if you will. Uh, the next thing I'd like to do is try and get my... Um, what's the mod called? Tinker's Construct. Is that right? Tinker's Construct? Yes. Tinker's Construct. Now, where did I put those books at? Go away, please. Go away. Thank you. <clears throat> Why are you not burning? What? Flag. It's dangerous. Oh god. Lag is bad. Hey, I got a bow. Look at that. Thank you, Mr. Skeleton, for your bow. It's very nice of you. I need those books, which are right here. Take the open blocks one too. There's a damn skeleton in here. Is it done? It's done. Awesome. Ender pearl and my extra ender lily. All right, now let's take these and we're actually gonna go put them under the house. <coughs> oh, hey, look! Somebody gave me an apple tree. 
that's awesome of them. Thank you, whoever put that there. You can get apples from this. Oops. Isn't that awesome? It's a food source. It's better than the uh, melons, too, because the melons only heal or uh, restore like one little thing of food. It sucks. Get away, melons. I got apples now. Give me that nugget back. Nugget will go on y'all. So my ender pearl. Need to put my ender lilies away. So much stuff. All right, so let's put the ender lilies. Hello. Let's put the ender lilies here, right in front of the house. I need to read up on them and see if they need like darkness to grow or not. Um, I don't remember. They might grow better with darkness. But anyways, get the flesh out of my thing. Put my book there. I don't really need these either. They're just kind of annoying at the moment. And I don't need my crescent wrench. All right. Now I've already done this setup a couple of times, so I'm not really going to like go through and quickly, you know, tell everybody how to do everything or anything like that. Mostly what I need is the grout. Okay, so sand, gravel, and clay. Yay, tinkers! Gunpowder's on. Is that all he said? Yeah, okay. <coughs> so we're going to get the clay that I have here. And that'll get us started. <clears throat> Basically, uh, if I'm going to go mining and stuff again, I want to have uh, tools that, you know, I'm going to use for a long time. Because going mining this last bit, I was burning through way too many resources making picks, trying to find that redstone. I mean, it was useful because now I have so much other resources, but yeah, I need redstone super bad. And I want to try and get like fortune pick and that kind of thing. So, that's enough clay to get us started. The sand is going to be a little more difficult because that doesn't actually turn uh, cobblestone into sand. I might have to make gravel. I might have to make a uh, um, tinker's not tinker's uh, thermal expansion. I might have to make a thermal expansion pulverizer just for that purpose. You can see I cheated here. I was trying to do the landscape because I uh, needed the the gravel. I needed the um, which columns? Uh, what are they called? Flint. I needed the flint to make the sag mill. When I paused the video, I jumped over there and got that gravel and then kept putting it back so that it didn't look all crappy. Where's my diggers coming? No! There's nothing in it. Wow, I don't really have a lot of dirt at all. I was kind of hoping to have more dirt, being honest. I wanted to go and fix this this uh, space over here. I don't like leaving the terrain looking all crappy. Alright, I'll come back to that. So that's some gravel. Let's go ahead and I'm going to set up a pulverizer just so that I can make sand. <clears throat> pulverizer, pulv. Not pulk, pulv. Alright. So what we need is the machine frame basic. Tin gear glass and then iron around it. Okay. Lag. It must be like him loading in that's causing the lag, right? Because I wasn't getting it a minute ago. And it's only, it's it's a little bit, but 
it's probably not my internet, so I have to assume that it's probably loading the world around him or whatever. Um, oh, iron. Tin. Wrong button. Give me that glass back. It's tin. Around a piece of iron is a tin gear. And then it's the frame with the glass. Booyah. Man, I'm good. All right, I need a piston, which means I need some wood. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Where's my redstone? Where put my redstone? God, I'm running so low on redstone, guys. It's not good. Give me one of those, please. And then I need reception coil. Crap, I need some gold. Gold. I need one of these too, but for now. Okay, gold. Now I need some copper. Uh, I really need you to smelt some copper, please. You know what, where's... I, I, I could have sworn I just made a bunch of copper, did I not? Did I use it all? Did it go in here? No, it's just cool. Didn't I just make a bunch of copper? And I know I made, like, the flux ducts. And that took lead. What did I do with the copper I just made? I'm so confused right now. You guys are probably watching the video like, Dude, you obviously did the thing! Uh, give me a second, I'm gonna pause and get the copper and such so we can get this thing started. Okay, I've got copper. So, going back to this. Stone gear, basic gear. I'm gonna make a stone gear. Wood gear with stone around it. That's probably cheaper? I don't know. It's all kind of the same, isn't it? Let me see. That's probably the cheapest. Need more sticks! My video is actually kind of running along again. So I'll probably just make this and then uh, we'll call it there. And then Tinker's Construct will be the next episode. You know how I do! No, I don't want to use the iron. That's right, what am I doing? I need this. Duh. Losing it, guys. Losing it. Don't know what I'm doing anymore. Pulverizer. Okay. So let's just plop that sucker there. That'll get power. And then I can turn that cobblestone into... Um, sand. Right? Does it need an internal buffer of some amount before it goes? There it goes. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. Just needs to build up before it goes. I need a better power source. These survival generators are nice, and they're a good boost to power, but they're just not cutting it. So, I think, uh, I think we might need to look into power soon. Because <sighs> I don't want to keep using up all my coal either. So, alright. What? How did that even happen? Alright. Alright guys, that's it for the video. I will see you in the next one. Where we do something. Either power or... or uh, actually, probably... God, I don't know. 
Because to do the power, we would need a lot of Tinker's Construct stuff, like a furnace and uh, several engines and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right, guys.